you know, does does it make something immoral just if there's no choice involved? I don't I don't know. Um, well, we can put this down as a thought experiment. Let's say you are a human being with free will, and nobody nobody doubts that you have free will. Okay. Yeah. So if if I have a time machine that can tell the future, do you still have free will? Does 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 having a time machine destroy your free will? No. Then then I mean, why then, then first of all you can first of all you can choose if you want to use it or not. So. <laughs> no no I'm not talking about you you're Jay and yeah. long haul invents a time machine and you can see the future. Does yeah. has inventing the time machine destroy your free will? Um it depends no. what fictional model of time travel you... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it does, and it depends if he uses it or not. <laughs> you know, you've got the grandfather paradox, which is the classic. Exactly, yeah. Um, but, of course, if you subscribe to some of the more recent interpretations that have been put into certain films, um, you know, other films are available, um, but some of them take the view that if you were to go back in time and, and kill your grandfather, you've spawned... An alternate universe, and and you're yeah. carrying on from that point, and you know it depends if you subscribe to the many worlds theory or uh, or not. Not, yeah. So I, I think it's a, a tricky area because you're getting into so many kind of hypotheticals, and without really being kind of very locked into the physics um, side of that, and and a lot of that isn't fixed either. There's a lot of ideas yeah. about the uh, the many worlds theory for one. Um. I, I'm not sure I can see the value in, in trying to go through that thought experiment. I mean, I think it might be an interesting idea to pursue, but I don't think we can possibly uh, deduce any any valid truths from that, that experiment. Yeah, so sometimes there's basically, that's just one complaint that I've had, is that because God knows the future, then we don't have free will. But that's the counter-argument, is that if 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 Rurik invents a time machine, does destroy free will? And, then the basically we have proven that proven that free will can exist even though God can know the future, right? So sometimes people will say, "Oh, God um, knows that you will um, end up destroyed, therefore you you never had a chance." But I would disagree with that. Even you can have somebody with free will, but you know, and and sometimes there was a great uh, Christian writer called Charles Finney, and he he talked quite a lot about this about judgment and God knowing the future, and he says that. Um, if God knows that you will rebel against him and just not believe in him, he will do whatever he can to then change, try and change your mind, and that even still, you will still people decide that you know not to believe. Then there's in a sense nothing more that can be done. So, um, 